Bomb a room just dropped a bombshell. The mega fight between Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko got confirmed. And this pro bout is seeing the light of day sooner than you think. It's going down this September, which is just a couple of months away. This is gonna be the next big step for Tank Davis, cause a guy as tough as Loma is no joke in the ring and outside the ring. But don't be fooled, Gervonta has had his sight out ever since his knockout victory over Frank Martin. Translation? Tank Davis is ready, locked, and loaded. This is gonna be a huge fight, and it's already attracted so many reactions from fans and boxing professionals who are giving their predictions for this epic matchup. There's a lot to discuss with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this action. Gervonta Davis has picked out his next prey. According to Bob Arum, Tank has already signed the papers and they're just waiting on Loma, who's coming soon to Los Angeles, to put ink on paper and get this fight ready to go. Just take a look at what Bob Arum said. Um, that Tank's gonna be the opponent. Um, the likelihood of that fight is everything been kind of moving smoothly with you and Todd and Carl working with um, Al Heyman. Well, we have no problem with the companies. Now, Lomachenko is a highly intelligent uh, boxer, highly intelligent man. And he's coming into Los Angeles, I think, uh, on Monday. Uh, Egas and we'll sit down with him. I'll sit down with him, lay out everything, and get his approval for what we've been talking about. Did you know that Shakur Stevenson was going to get a shot at Loma in the ring instead of Gervonta Davis? Yep, that's right. The headlines were going to be Shakur Stevenson versus Vasily Lomachenko. But Shakur being Shakur had to beef with the man guy, Bob Arum making this bout reach a dead end. Um, do you see yourself or would have saw yourself seeing Shakur and Lomachenko fighting? And Shakur is, makes one big mistake, which he should know better. He assumes that all these other fighters are puppets and top rank, myself, are the puppet masters. Well, that's not the case. We're not the puppet master with Shakur. Uh, if he wanted to fight somebody, didn't want to fight somebody, he had to say in it. But hey, don't go blaming our guy Aram. He's not the reason this fight didn't go down sooner. Loma's no dummy. He knows that taking on Tank means a bigger payday. That's why he's squaring up with Gervonta Davis instead of Shakur. It's all about chasing that bag, and this fight is the ultimate jackpot. But hey, props to Loma for taking the tougher fight. Because let's be real, out of Shakur and Tank, Tank Davis is the real deal. But you can't forget how Loma V's Devin Haney went down. Humor me this. If Loma nearly took down Haney, you know he's got the skills to give Gervonta a run for his money. And guess what? Loma's already back in the gym, looking sharper than ever. You can't miss what Eddie Hearn said about this fight. He thinks it's way closer than people realize, and he broke down exactly why. Two questions for you now. I'll let you go, Eddie. I appreciate you. Tank Loma, rumored to be a potential fight that could happen in the near future. What do you think of that fight? Um, I think he's a good fight. You know, I think Javonta Davis is extremely exciting, but he loses a lot of rounds. You know, he lost rounds to Frank Martin. He lost rounds to Pitbull Cruz. He lost rounds to Ryan Garcia. And I think he'll lose rounds to Lomachenko. I do think that Lomachenko may be a little bit too war-torn now to survive 12 rounds with Javonte. But it's a competitive fight. You know, Loma's got a great boxing brain. And like I said, I think Tank will lose rounds to, to Lomachenko. It's just a case of if he can get hold of him before the, the closing stretch. I think he would. But yeah, I think... Now that's an interesting take. Tank put on a show by brutally knocking out Frank Martin. But let's not forget, Tank was losing most of the rounds leading up to that KO shot. I mean, his activity was very low. One thing we know about Loma is that he's quick on his feet. He can dodge that scary left hook Davis threw to end Frank Martin. If Loma survives all the rounds, he can easily win on points. But hey, Tank has already given his word on how this fight is going down. He said it's gonna last a couple of rounds. 
Tank is hoping to land that KO punch and end the night early. Tank, if you do fight Loma, how long does it last? All right, you heard Javante Davis. He said a couple rounds. By the way, speaking of Ryan, I think Haney can ever come back from that whooping. Yeah, he, he young. When you're young, you heal faster and things like that. Hopefully, he can come back. But that was a ass whooping. And the crazy thing is how he went about the fight. Like saying how he was going to do such and such with him. Sea level yeah, fighter. Like all that crap we said about him and it backfired on him. What do you think of the video where they compared you against Ryan to Devin and Ryan? You saw that, I'm sure. They did an edit. You against Ryan, where you go under his hook. Yeah, and then yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he just experienced it. He thought he could sit there with somebody like... The, he, the guy... He, that's his best punch, and he sat there right with him. Like, he, he didn't move his feet now one bit. 29 and 0, 27 9. This is going to be the biggest fight of the year. Tim Bradley said it himself. He believes if Gervonta Davis and Lomachenko were to fight this year, which they are, it would pull crazy numbers. You talking about a sale? That's going to be huge. That's going to be huge numbers pay-per-view wise if both Lomachenko, the version that we just saw, and Tank, if he comes out clean, if they were to match up sometime in the September or even December, man, that'd be a fantastic fight. Trainer to 14 world champions and counting, Robert Garcia has given his honest thoughts on this super fight. Now, don't forget this guy trains champs, so he knows what he's talking about. 135 is hot. Javante Davis versus Lomachenko. Looks like he's, he's heating up in negotiations. Hopefully, hopefully what do you think about Javante? I, I, I love Lomachenko. I think, you know, at this point, I think I think Tank's just too strong because he's a lot younger. Maybe Loma, we probably seen the best out of him, but I love Loma. You know, five years ago, I would pick Loma easy. Mm -hmm. So, you're going with Tank? I think I go with Tank, yeah. But I still wouldn't be surprised because I, I love Loma. I love his style. He's one of my favorite fighters. I, I would love to see him pull it up too. Cool. Appreciate and that, Robert. Possible. Yeah, thank you, Robert. Like thank always. You, Former pro boxer Antonio Tarver gave Loma his props, saying he's a problem for anyone in the division. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to power. And that's where Gervonta Davis shines. Loma a live shot against anybody, bro. To outbox him. He a live shot to win against anybody because he's that talented. But if Javante Davis is on his game, we're going to have a great fight. And I believe power is always the exclamation point when it comes down to fighting. If you got that power, you can close the show at any time in that fight, even if you're behind on the scorecard. So power is always something you want to have in boxing. Raleigh Romero is backing Gervonta Tank. Davis all the way. Raleigh's been in the ring with Tank before, so he knows exactly how hard those punches land. He's predicting Tank will catch a body when he faces Loma. Lomachenko will come to win fight against I'm, Javante. I, I'm not a Lomasexual, man. <laughs> I, I'm really not a Lomasexual, man. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't support that shit. I, I really don't support that shit, man. I'm not a Lomasexual, man. So in this case, Javante gets that. Oh, no, he'll murder him. Just purely off of just a better fighter? Right, he'll murder him. Does that I'm fight? Not, I'm not a homosexual, <laughs> man. And to contrary belief, everyone that, that everyone, everyone fucking believes otherwise, Devin Haney fucking beat Lomachenko too, because Lomachenko don't fucking try to win at the end of the damn fight ever. Yeah. Shakur Stevenson, the guy initially set to fight Loma, gave his two cents on Tank vs. Loma, and he's predicting an easy dub for Davis. Um, it just depends on which Lomachenko show up. I, I honestly can't see him just knocking Lomachenko out. I think Lomachenko is uh, defensively sound, uh, you know, tricks. And, like, the skill level that Lomachenko is on uh, is a lot better than what Frank Martin is. So no disrespect to Frank Martin, but it's just the experience level that Lomachenko has. So, um, nah, I, I don't see that fight looking like that, but I can see uh, Tank got the edge on um, younger, fresher, and uh, powerful. So he got the edge for sure. But I don't see it being like no whitewash. Um, and it, it also depends on what Lomachenko got left in the tank because a lot of people watched that last fight and felt like he looked super good. But, like, I'm like, uh, I pay attention and um, 
I thought he looked good, but I seen like he couldn't really up the pace like he wanted to. Teofimo Lopez also gave his predictions in favor of Gervonta Davis. Yeah, no surprise. Loma is the underdog coming into this fight, so the pressure is going to be on his shoulders. Tank will be nervous going into the fight. Loma will show his skill sets. Tank will try to walk him down. Um, Loma needs to go for the body. Tank will try to hurt him. Head, hand, hand, hand. Throwing his favorite shot that he likes to throw is his left hand. Um, however, I just feel like goes the distance, Tank wins. Um, stoppage. Uh, I love Loma, man. I mean, he was a tough fighter that I, when I faced him, I'll say that. However, I just feel like he's not as, not as the same as he once were. So, but um, the punch count that Tank showed in Frank Martin, he was losing every round. Mm -hmm. He was just waiting for that one big shot. Mm -hmm. If he fights like that, Loma wins. Mm -hmm. Because Loma is not gonna wait for that big shot. I don't know, I think uh, um, Tank edges it. Former pro boxer Shane Mosley has put all his eggs in Tank's basket. I believe Gervonta Davis's power would be a lot for Loma to handle. How do you see that fight, and how does it play out now at this point? I mean, it's, it's a big fight, but I can see that Loma is going to land a lot of shots on him, but I can also see uh, Davison catch him with the counter left or catch him with some power shots because maybe Loma Chico will leave himself open for, uh, or could leave himself open for some of his fights because, you know, landing a lot of shots could give him a lot of confidence, and this is how that, um, I'll take always dunks guys out the, the left or whatever, whatever it is he's going to knock out with when they come to him. So it's going to be a great fight. I would love to see how Tank will handle this, but it's going to be a difficult fight for Tank, and it could be a surprising fight for you know Loma Chico because he's a little older. Maybe his time is not the same, and Davis has the opportunity to catch him with that, you know, the the, the ooey shots. <laughs> Tim Bradley, on the other hand believes Loma has what it takes to finally put an end to the Gervonta Davis hype train. A lot of people are saying like, oh, they waited for him to get to this age. Yeah, yeah, that's facts. That the people are not, I mean, come on, man. These fans are not stupid, man. Loma still thinking that this age is a bad man. He, he, he deserve respect. And you know, you're gonna have the recency bias and everybody will say, oh, Tank's gonna knock him out. Tank's gonna, gonna have to knock him out. He gonna have to. If, if Loma can avoid those big shots, we can win the fight, bro. I wouldn't count Loma out. Not nah, hell no, nah, man. I say 50-50. This fight is a huge opportunity for Loma to showcase to the world who he truly is as a fighter. But for Gervonta Davis, a win over Loma proves nothing. It's a lose-lose situation for Tank because if he loses, the chant will be, he lost to an old guy. And if he wins, everyone will say, he beat a guy who Devin beat already. So this is a tough spot for Tank to be in. The risk is high, but the reward is low. However, a fight with Shakur Stevenson makes much more sense and is one that could be won for the ages. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.